Hello and welcome back. It's a new week, new game. The Steam Summer Sale is currently going on. And I had to go check my wish list. And I could not help but notice that Drug Dealer Simulator was on sale. I didn't even realize I added this to my wish list. And I saw it right there at the top. Because it had a very high discount out because of course Drug Dealer Simulator 2 is out. And you can go get that game. But this was during a time when I was playing simulator games for New Year, New Game, and realized I kind of like simulator games. So I was looking through the tags of simulators and probably saw this one and went, hilarious, adding it to my wish list. And here we are. From the simulator games that I have played, they've been a bit hit and miss on whether or not they are, like, worth playing, if they're good or not. Some are they're fun power wash simulator had a blast then there's others that aren't so fun like that one where it was like a video game studio streamer simulator where you're in like a, a abandoned house trying to make uh yourself into a famous streamer that one I, I wasn't a big fan of anyways let's give this game a try so without further ado let's get in the game Select difficulty level. Help me, mommy. Pass the bong. Uh, plata o plomo. Uh, normal difficulty. Original challenge and balance if you don't want to sweat too much. Let's do that. I don't want to sweat too much. I sweat enough as is. We don't need me sweating any more than I already do. During a raid, you never know when exactly the... Okay. Uh, fast deliveries and happy clients. I just can't read that one either. Oh, 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 man, here we go, 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 go. I'm probably going to get hit with copyright because of the music. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Yeah, and fuck you too. <laughs> So, here we are. The adventure is hot. The big question is, is this my story or your story? Let's find out together, shall we? Just if I like it, it's my story. No? Can we, like, move around and interact with a bunch of stuff? F to activate workstation. Hold tab. Oh, I got a hold tab. I just pressed it. Ah, E. Yo, hope you're up. I would let you sleep yesterday off, but I have some troublesome motherfucker to attend to, and it can't wait. I'm waiting for you at the main square close to my place. Sober up and come see me. First task, you can check your current task by hitting tab and switching to the organizer section on the top of the screen. To see directions, use the world map M. There you'll find markers for quest locations, clients, and more. F to close tips. Is it a mouse and yeah, keyboard? Old Eddie. Can He's I use the head of logistics? So you better listen to what he has to say, huh? Go meet him. He'll prep you up for the job. All right, that's door. Ah, booze and weed, the ancient enemies of short-term memory. Yesterday, you got so fucked up that even I forgot where the keys are. Oh, Go shit. The apartment. We gotta be here somewhere. In order to leave the house, we gotta go find the keys. All right. Sink. No bottles to fill? Okay. So be filling bottles. Open toilet. There's the organizer. Uh, anything in here? No. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a guitar. Pick up backpack. Open this cupboard. There we go. Apartment keys. Bam. Trash everywhere. 
At least I think that white powder's trash. Alright, let's leave. Oh yeah. Loads. Should I lock it? Enjoy the Kura view. Take like the back exit. Yeah, the whole thing like shakes when the train's going by. It's just all shivering. Crazy. Unless that's just the graphics. No, it's that. All right. Uh, the map. We're supposed to go meet Eddie. So I'll go down this way. Right. There goes a plane spreading chemtrails. I guess that's supposed to be a bird. Yeah, it is. It's like it's not flapping its wings, and I saw it start to flap, and I was like, okay, yeah, no, that is a bird. Hey, yo, Eddie! Eddie? Go in here. Eddie! This must be Eddie. Right here. Looking good. Great. Can't make you out, Eddie. I'll brief you up. Newbie? Uh, take it. Here you go. That's what you're gonna be selling, so test it out. You know what? Sometimes when I get these so-called uh, second thought kind of thing, I come here. Sit down and just watch this shit. You know that every trap in the U.S. has this bull? 25 million bucks it cost them. Always reminds me of who we are to them. Helps keep me focused. Anyway, how was the party? Can't remember. <laughs> yeah, you young motherfuckers tend to do that. Nowadays, I'd be fucked up big time for a week if I'd party that hard in one evening. Uh, well, okay. Anyway, good that you stretched up, because we've got some jobs to do. Listen up. I'm your main and only contact in the cartel. Anything and everything considering the business in and out goes through me. From now on, I'm your daddy, your boss, your fucking wife, all in one person. <laughs> you need dope? You write to me. You got the cash for the cartel? I take it. You shit your pants? I need to know before you change your underwear. Straightforward. Oh, you shit. Basic. Grass and amp. The three packages waiting for you in a dead drop at the back of the supermarket. Grab them, go home, and get your laptop. There'll be clients writing you soon. You make them sales, and I'll get back to you soon after. Questions? How to recognize the dead drop. Oh, you're a smart boy. You'll find it. Anyway, get to work. Gotta go. We'll get to you later. How do I get up? Oh, there it goes. Just in case you're wondering. Dead drops are hidden drop points, where you will retrieve smaller packages. Trash bins, hole in the ground, a big crack in the wall, you name it. They're usually marked by some kind of symbol, so you should find it pretty easy. Alright. First package is over this way. Just gonna run everywhere. Oh, we have a stamina bar, I just noticed that. Pathology. Poverty. Well, it looks like we're choosing poverty. There it is. See it? All right. 
go back home and get to the computer. Your first client should be messaging you any moment now. You'll get notifications on new messages on your phone. But to read them, you'll need the encrypted app on the laptop. Say that again. Said. Yeah, it's this building. <laughs> Can we lock the door? <laughs> Laptop. Okay, this is Shady Kong. A special, fancy, dark web communicator. This is where you order the merchandise from Eddie. And this is where your clients will contact you. It also has other options, but we'll get to that in time. Alright. And patrol, hey there, you still got weed in stock. Three camps would be awesome. How much do I have again? I don't even know how much I've got. MJ three grams. Amphetamine. I check my backpack while I'm in here. Shady Com. Through Shady Com, you can order drugs and communicate with your clients. Choose a person on the contact list and click the chat input field for options. After confirming orders, the client will show on the map. Find them, deliver, and order the packages. All right. Uh, let me check my bag. Because we've only got three of this. We got five of that. So I'm going to go here. Confirm. And this one wants five of that. Bam. Confirm. Uh, as for this one. I need more. Can I reach out to him? No. Guess I'm declining her order or what? Maybe after I deliver the other two, something will happen. It's already dark. What up? I don't want that. What's up? Oh wait, hang on. I just saw I had times two. Oh, okay, click and drag. Control drag. Control, yeah. Uh, just the one. Yep. Except. I didn't realize I had a time too, so now I'm gonna have to go back. Tell you, backpacks have downsides as well. The more you carry, the slower you run, and big beefy bags huh, may seem suspicious to the police. Okay, I told you. Now that's your problem. Confirm. All right. I didn't see the times two in my inventory. Now we have sexy red backpack on the cupboard. I know you're probably used to those sissy casual games where money's stored in a magic cloud under God's fucking pillow, but it ain't the case for us here. You need space to carry cash, so take that into consideration before you run those first clients. All right, a bag. We're good. He's over this way. She wants 
this. Bam, we accept. Take that. And do this. The last person's way down here. There go the chemtrails again. Hood here. Yeah. Over and around, maybe. Hello. Hey there. Here you go. Up. Level two. You just made your first few sales and made some money. The client should be ordering more soon. Get to the computer to order more dope from Eddie to resupply your stock. All right. Did you get the same amount of stuff? Oh, I can use a flashlight too. Nice. We got tasks available and skill points. <laughs> Dope ninja. Stealth runner. Salesman with salesman do. Increase the prices you are able to demand for your product and slightly increase sales numbers. Decrease the time it takes for the client to make a new order and new clients to come. That sounds great. Quick learner. Increase experience points gained for sales and quest above 50% gives you an additional two skills gained per level. That sounds like something we should definitely do early on. Oh, uh, I wanted to check. The gas station for powdered additives and order more. It's the gas station. It's up here. To check for powdered additives. up feet uh, I want to buy something I don't see anything that says powdered additives but I see baking soda which something tells me that's probably what they're talking about just need the one Some of that bacon soda. Now, what's it saying? I got for tasks. Uh, just to order more. Let's go home. It's so dark, man. Is this my house? This does look like the apartment I stay in. Maybe it's not the apartment I stay in. That's oh, the next one down. All right. Yeah, it's this one. Where's my door? way let me see some settings graphics where's brightness frame of view in game no all right i guess brightness is just stuck at whatever it's at people messaging me 
up. Something from Eddie. All right, heard that you made them sales. Well done. Now, if you need more drugs, write to me. I'll get in contact. Police hours start. Uh oh. A text and let you know where the package will be dropped. All right, make new order. If need. Going with six, right? That's what we had last time. Guess it only does ten. Now you have all the like, so. Depends on if I can pick everything up. Or delivery may take some time. It depends mostly on how large is the package. Remember to always plan this ahead. Eddie will inform you when the package is ready to retrieve. In the meantime, you can either find some other tasks to do or wait. Hit T while in a hideout to open the wait dialogue. Alright. It says two tasks available. There are no tasks here. Should take about an hour. All right, so police hours are about to happen. Now they want four. How do I wait? Trying to figure out how I can pass the time. Workstation currently unavailable. Settings, controls, drive, jump, sprint, lean, map, weight, and apartment is T. Ding dong, motherfucker. Bedtime. <laughs> During police hours, you should remain home. Clients heard of more and pay extra for nighttime deliveries. That's cool. I don't know if I should do that, though. Working at night reduces exposition and boost respect and experience gained from sales. So it's like a risk and reward kind of feature. So maybe we should be working at night. The drop achieved. You have three clients so far. That's cute, but it won't get you far. To grow your business, you need to unlock more areas and keep your respect high. Get to the computer to learn more about gaining new sale areas. Ding dong, motherfucker. Bedtime. During police hours, you should remain home. This laptop. Uh, East Old Town. And deal two West Old Men in Respect, so we have it. We can unlock that area. Nice. Change the spray symbol. Click the change symbol. Uh, your spray on walls around the ghetto, which we don't do. But we the bad guys, we don't give a fuck. The police do though, so you keep an eye on them and better stick to the shadows. All right, we'll give it a shot. Here. Truck tire. Choose my spray symbol. Let's do a scythe. You can either buy spray paint in shops like the gas station or find some leftover cans in the ghetto. Look around for graffiti. I spray paint and place four wall markings at East Old Town. Find a potential client and handle him. Oh, yeah, handle him a free sample. 
Alright, how do I crouch? Let's see. That how he stays stealthy. Alright, where do we need to go? It's the person. BP's over here. From Eddie. Yo, I heard the authorities got pissed by that tire fire situation, and they're sending more police on the streets. Watch out for patrols while you run around. They might be nosy. The hell is my client? Just hanging out in these bushes. Divide it. Yeah, control drop quantity. This is ten. Like, do I gotta separate it then? Hang on. I think I've got a task I'm supposed to be doing. Get to the workstation. Great. Because it's all in one big thing. We probably have to break it up into smaller bits. To the workstation. The workstations are furniture based equipment. Here you can customize your drug lab, store drugs, and substance meant for mixing and processing. This is also the place where you pack the product to its final weight, portions prepared for sale. Hit I while at the workstation to view the workstation manual. Alright. So, you're in workstation mode now. You can arrange your lab to mix and produce whatever you desire. Remember chemistry classes back in school? Sure. <laughs> no? Yeah, me neither. Fuck it, who cares, right? You'll find more <laughs> info in the workstation manual. Alright. Select. Oh, I don't want to put that down. Is that like a mixing tray? Medium-sized jar for holding, small jar, small jar, 
two ways. Select the source with left mouse button. Switch to lab mode. Add four. Yeah, that's fine. Package product. Okay, one of them is package product where you can choose in what quantities and gram sizes to pack the dope. If you need more details on the workstation, I'd open the workstation menu. Okay, so do that. How do I select that? Come on. Here we go. Package product. You gotta be smart package. about package sizes, huh? Smaller bags take more space per gram than the big ones. Use larger bricks for wholesale transport and small ones for direct deliveries. Try to do four. That's what they wanted was four. Why will you not let me do four? Guess we just do it like that. All right. Save game. Save your game is now available. You can do that by using the video phone in your apartment. I have a video phone. All right. Uh, you know, just add it. Just add all six. Yeah, that's fine. How do we do that? There we go. New package. One for three. New package, one for one. Add to inventory. Alright. And place that in here too, because we don't need to have that on us. Oh, I'm supposed to find someone also to add, or to give them like samples. Package, new package, let's do a one. New package of one. Add to inventory. Alright. Let's get out of here, man. It's police hours. To save my game. Go see my client is out there waiting on me. Probably upset because it's taking forever. go do control drag so you, you get one of them then control drag so you only get one of them except it's this other person across the street Yo. One. Bam. Except. We did it. Message from someone else. Is there somebody right here? I don't see nobody right here. Maybe they're only there during certain times. 
Oh, uh, that's the area I was supposed to spray. I know there should be somebody right around here. I don't see no person. Just maybe it's like when it's not police hours. Let's go home. Save it again. This is task available. Uh, this person, Nayato Poo Poo, wants four of amp. And then we just confirm. However, we're not going to go see them. Instead, what we're going to do is, uh, is end it. Damn, so I'm just gonna do this so I can pause the game because that's about 30 minutes or so of Drug Dealer Simulator. I still think that there is more to the game that we didn't get to. It does look like they also have like a farming aspect where you can have your own labs and stuff like that as well. Uh, I do enjoy simulator games. This one's not so bad. Like the graphics aren't too outrageous like i know it's not super high graphics but it's also not like really low graphics they're very decent and it's it's nice where it's at uh gameplay mechanics that they have involved in the game uh we didn't really get to experience much with the workshop but like taking and getting a certain amount of drugs and then like breaking it down into smaller amounts to sell and do things that isn't a bad mechanic at all as much as I would like for it to be to where I can like separate it in my inventory and do things like that this is supposed to be a simulator game so doing it in your inventory may be ideal but if you want to stick to simulators going back to your place into a workstation and doing things like that seems like that's the right thing to do um they had us buy baking soda for a powdered additive but didn't really give us a mission or task to use it for anything so maybe that'll come later or something what we're just supposed to figure out the brightness not being able to get like adjusted kind of an eh for me i don't like the fact that i can't adjust my brightness maybe i didn't know where it was at but just having like that cell phone light as the only thing that can really fix the brightness that isn't going to work for me uh would i come back and play the game again in all honesty, with what we did here in the, the 30 minutes that we were playing, probably not. Maybe it gets better as it goes along. Maybe if I'm bored one day and I want to play a simulator game or I get a request to come back and play this as a series or anything like that, then I can see myself coming back and playing the game again. But as for like why would it come back... It's just because it didn't really catch my attention. It wasn't something like as soon as I started playing it, I was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. It just seems like a lot of run around busy work, which for this particular type of simulation, that's what you do. I get it. Maybe it changes as you go forward and you have other people who do the running around and stuff for you. That would be really cool. Like, I think the only thing I can really compare this to would be, say, like Grand Theft Auto where you usually will start out as like a small time uh, dealer or just a small time hitman, whatever it is that they have you doing. And then you just kind of grow and expand and it gets to the point where like you have all these different things. I guess the, the online feature for Grand Theft Auto 5, where it's like you start out with like one drug in a lab and then expand and get another one to a point to where it's like you own a nightclub and you've got people who are producing things so you don't have to go and do the missions and then you can sell everything all at once in one area as opposed to going to each of the different areas and selling them all individually. Because that's how Grand Theft Auto Online works.
But hey, that's just my opinion. You can always let me know how you feel about the game in the comments below. If this is a game that you have played in the past and you really enjoy it, tell me why you enjoy it. What did you like most about it? What did I miss? Things like that. I do want to hear your opinions and uh, feel like that's what the comment section's for. And I usually always respond back. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of New Week. New Game. Goodbye.